Hey everyone, so this is the Monolith by Monoprice portable headphone amplifier and DAC with THX AAA technology. It's one of the most feature packed portable headphone amps out there at this time. At least I believe it is. And so today is the review. So I don't know how long this video is going to be. I'm going to try to make it as short as possible within as short as I can get it, but still being more detailed and in depth than most other reviews. So if you guys want to just skip ahead to the section that you're most interested in and you can't watch the full video, but you should, I will put timestamps down below in the description. First off, Let's just get it out of the way. This is a very good portable headphone amplifier for a few things. One being that it's feature packed, has a lot of features as you guys will see in a little bit. It's a good sounding portable headphone amplifier. It's got pretty decent amount of power that it can drive up to, I believe it's set up to 600 ohms of impedance headphones. And it drives my Fostex T20RP planar magnetic headphones pretty good. And I've been using this portable headphone amplifier for more than two months now. So the most important question you guys might be asking is, do I recommend this portable headphone amplifier? And um, I do, but that's number one. If you have the money, to buy this headphone amplifier because it is not the cheapest as a matter of fact it's out of most portable headphone amplifiers out there it's one of the more expensive ones it's got a base price of $299.99 on mono prices website it might be a little bit cheaper at sites like Amazon or B&H photo and you're thinking well if it's so expensive how did I afford it, right? Well, I'm paying monthly for this. So I got mines at Target.com. And at Target.com, they have um, what they call a firm payments or a firm payment plan. So with the firm, you, you, you'll get charged like a processing fee, which I think mine, it was like an extra $40. So altogether, I probably spent around like 300 and. 39, 349 divided by 12 monthly payments. Although I don't, I plan to pay most of it off pretty soon once I start working again. And that's the beauty about a firm is I could um, either pay the scheduled monthly plan. I think uh, I pay like 33 or $23 a month, something like that for this uh, portable headphone app through a firm and Target. So it's a pricey headphone amplifier and there's a bunch of other good ones for a lot less i mean way a lot less like uh this empire portable amp deck that i just reviewed is about a third of the price of this and um doesn't have as much features but sound wise in general uh, uh, for most people i think they're gonna like the sound of the empire more than the monolith not to say that the monolith doesn't sound good because i just said it does sound good but it's for a certain audience and we'll get to that in a little bit in the sound section so like i said if you can afford this i would probably recommend it but only if you're a more let's say um high end or a more experienced audio enthusi enthusiast or audiophile because this portable headphone amplifier and DAC is packed with so many features and in the over three months that I've had it I'm still I still haven't been able to take full advantage of all these features that it has and I'm still learning how to set different settings like um, mostly with the uh, equalizers because there's a lot of equalizer settings in here that you can fine tune to your sound preference if you really like it. But like I said, we will talk about that in the sound section. So 
if you can afford it and if you're a more experienced or a more high-end audiophile or audio audio enthusiast and you're more experienced you know how to play around with eqs and stuff like that i would recommend this but if you're just a beginner or just a the, one of the regular um audio enthusiasts that just likes to don't like to tinker with stuff and just you know you just want to pick up a headphone portable amp deck play your expensive headphones that are hard to drive without no, without any must, no fussing about, then uh, I would probably recommend the Empire more than the uh, Monolith. So in this review, like I said, timestamps down below for the section that you're most interested in. We're going to go into the specs of this uh, Monolith Amp, Amp Deck. Actually, we're going to go over the history of Monolith first, or Monoprice, the maker of this Monolith Portable Amp Deck. We're going to go over the history of Monoprice. We're going to go about, we're going to talk about the company. Because like I said in the past, I like to know that for the hard-earned dollars that I'm spending, especially for something like this, which is, it's not cheap, like I said, $300. And that's without tax or $299.99. It is not cheap. So you want to make sure you're, when you spend that kind of money, that you're getting number one a good quality product number two the company stands behind the product they're going to give you good warranty good support after you know good after sales support should you have any issues and stuff like that and that the company is very easy to get a hold of and contact okay and then number so after we talk about mono price we're going to get into the specs and features of the uh of this portable headphone amp deck then we'll go over connectivity how you know how easy it is, how easy it is to connect it to devices and uh what it has to offer in connectivity and then we'll go over the sound in detail so let's get started so Monoprice as a company, or yeah, Monoprice, the company that makes this portable amp deck, they make a bunch of other stuff. So if you go to their website, you'll see. And I also have a link to their company video. And I recommend you guys watch that. It's very informative and interesting video on how Monoprice got started and uh, their whole philosophy and their you know why they got into the business of just making not just audio devices now but they make a lot of stuff if you look in their website they opened in or they started in 2002 here in southern california actually they're about like more than a half an hour a little bit more than a half an hour away drive from where i live at here in san diego and they're they're a very good company they have, like I said, if they have their own website, you go to monoprice.com. And as you guys can see up there, they have, they make so many different types of products now. Not, they first started off making cables. I believe it was, a, they started making audio cables and accessories, which they still do to this day. And most of their cables and TV accessories, they have lifetime warranties with a 30-day money-back guarantee actually all of their products have a 30-day money-back guarantee although the for most of their products they're probably like good for one year except their cables and tv mounts which are which have a lifetime warranty and then depending on their product like the portable headphone amp deck this one has a three-year warranty some of their headphones like the ones i'm interested in the m1060 those have a five-year warranty, which is outstanding. You know, as as you guys know, most products out there right now only have your standard 90-day warranty and things like that. So one year to five years and then a lifetime warranty on their cables and TV mounts. Plus, you get 30-day money-back satisfaction guaranteed is a very good thing to have when you're um, buying their products. They have a toll-free number that you can call. 
they actually also have a store which I've been to maybe once or twice you can drive down to their store if you're fortunate enough if you live here in Southern California or if maybe you're vacationing here in Southern California they have a store an actual store just like your Best Buy where you can look at their products buy their products um, you know go to their headphone section their audio section and listen to their speakers and their headphones so you get to actually try out the products first before you even buy it they have a corporate office a telephone number like I said they have their store that you can visit and the thing that makes monoprice unique is they they make their philosophy is to make really high-end audio and other products enthusiast products at a fraction of the cost and the way they go about doing that is that they make all their products they get all their products made themselves and um, <clears throat> they don't have a middleman as far as like delivering their products all their products is at their own warehouse here in Southern California so whether you order their products through their website or let's say through Amazon it's still gonna go through their warehouse to get shipped out wherever it needs to get shipped out so that's really really good to know so they've been around for quite a while let's say 18 years 2020 to 2002 yeah 18 years and um, they have a website they have a contact number that you can get a hold of them they have a corporate office that you know they have a fax number they have an actual store I think they have two stores now here in Southern California. They opened one up in, in a mall somewhere. I think like Arcadia Mall or something or Ontario Mall. Um, <clears throat> that's I think Ontario, California, not Ontario, Canada. And um, I mean, I could be wrong. Maybe if they might have one in Ontario, Canada. I don't know, but I know they have one in Ontario, California. There is an Ontario, California. And um, they have a very good warranty on other products standard one-year warranty for most of their products like they have over 7,000 high quality electronics and accessories it says where most of them have a one-year warranty or their cables and TV mounts have a lifetime warranty and then you know their headphones and uh, other accessories or audio accessories have like a three-year to five-year warranty like I said this Amtac has a three-year warranty which is better than the industry industry standard of 90 day warranties and stuff like that and that most won't even come with a 30 day money back guarantee where after 30 days you can you know within the 30 days you can return it if you're not happy and get a full refund so that is monoprice the company behind this monolith portable headphone amp and deck let's talk about specs so um <clears throat> this portable headphone deck is about, about almost the size of my LG V60 though it is a lot thicker even with the V60 or V35 did I say why did I say V60 uh, maybe I'm thinking V60 because I might want to get it instead of the new Galaxy Note I don't know anyways this has a this is a lot thicker than the V35 thin Q. According to Mono Price's website, it weighs about half a pound or 0 0.5 pounds. So it's pretty heavy. Again, compared to the V35, it's a, a lot heavier than the V35 or my Galaxy Note 10 Plus, which I am recording with right now. Its dimensions are 5.4 by 2.8 by 0 0.6. So this portable amp deck has a maximum output voltage of 3.7 volts rms the main claim to fame of this um, portable amp deck is its thx um, certification or it's got the thx triple uh, a amplifier or processor yeah amplifier the DAC is a uh, akm ak4493 the THX is the world's most linear amplifier. THX AAA stands for Achromatic Audio Amplifier. 
and it says it's to ensure the ultimate no compromise headphone audio experience of delivering the world's highest fidelity audio with infinitely low levels of noise distortion so it's supposed to be the most linear most neutral with that thx amplifier technology and also the one has least distortion and then the akm dac the 4493 dac provides the detailed sound and exceptional musicality it's got enough power to drive up to 600 600 ohms of impedance headphones and like i said it can drive my fostex pretty pretty good and those are very hard to drive headphones besides the thx and a triple a technology it has d-rack and d-rack sense around is supposed to like give you more of that surround sound experience and we'll talk about that the d-rack surround sound experience in the in the sound section so there's needless to say a lot of um features on this it, i mean it's got if we turn this on it's got so many settings when you um look at the when i go here to menu it's got three different eqs that you can and then each section of these eqs has another section underneath so you have here regular the regular eq so see underneath eq you have shelf eq and make settings from there on shelf eq if we go back oops peq PEQ2, PEQ3, and so on and so forth. So there are so many settings, just too many. And if you're a beginning audio enthusiast and you're not really uh, knowledgeable about EQ settings or you've never messed around with EQ settings, it, could, it can get pretty overwhelming at, with all these features. So a lot of features on this. And, just about so you can tailor the sound to how you want it if you know how to play around with uh with all the different eq settings so <clears throat> let's talk about the build quality the build quality on this portable amp deck is um premium one word premium um this whole front is metal and it can attract fingerprints as you can see right here i already just grabbed the whole of it and it's already starting to get a little bit of smudges that's the one thing i don't like with this uh, aluminum anodized finish and does it, it it does pick up fingerprints and smudges a little bit the display is glass i believe and it has a it's a monochrome display it's, meaning it's just a black and white display not much to say about the display it works you can read off of it you know and it tells you what you need to know like your volume levels which the empire didn't uh that didn't have and um so the display right here can tell you the you the your volume levels can tell you your eq settings your sample rate or your line wherever you have it plugged into and also the battery level right there and so as you can see right now, I'm at full battery. Turn this off. Going over here on the left hand side is your menu and back button. Then you have your toggle sections for going to different sections of the menu and a plus and minus and then an enter button. At first, when I first got that this and I went through the unboxing, I thought you can change the volume levels with this you can't it's just to toggle through the menus as you can see so like let's say I hit the menu and then from there i can toggle see back and forth where i want to go and then go back again for that one right there so they're just toggle buttons 
Oh, that's all they are. And then the input button right here, the menu and back button. But they're good enough. And they, they've got, as you can see, they stand out a little bit from the side of the amplifier. or So you can feel them out. If you remember that the top button, you know, is the uh, menu and back button and everything. You've memorized where the buttons are. The very bottom button is the enter and input button. Um, you can pretty much navigate this uh, screen right here without looking at the sides. Right here on the top right side is your on knob, on and off switch knob, and volume knob, volume control knob. And it's very satisfactory. It's got a nice click when you turn it on and off. It's got some like texturing right here. Almost like looks like like a screw for turning. And it's a very firm knob so it's not loose. So you can like if I turn this I can go little by little with the volume in steps the where, where I want to as you can see. I can fine tune those volume levels in little steps. Up here is your line in and optical in, and then you have the headphone jack right here. On the sides is nothing except for your THX branding and your DRAC branding, DRAC sense around branding. Right here on the back is really nice because it's it's like made out of this leather or fake leather material, which is really good. As I said before in my unboxing, the good thing about this being this texture is that you don't have to worry about getting scratches if you place it on its back because that's what you're going to do is place it on its back when you're, you know, if you have it at home, which means it can't. You don't have to worry about this back part getting scratched up wherever you lay it at. So again, build quality of this uh, headphone amp deck is premium. It's got a really good premium build quality. The only thing is the metal does tend to attract smudges and fingerprints as you can see. But in the whole two months that I've had this, uh, that's the only thing I've had to do. I, I don't think I have any scratches on it. But it does attract fingerprints, especially when it's hot and your hands are kind of sweaty. Okay, let's talk about connectivity. So, out of the box, as you guys seen in the unboxing, remember this is a $300 portable headphone amp deck. And out of the box, it doesn't come with any cables that tells you right off right there who the intended market is for this um these headphones where is the empire came with all the cables that you see here this uh 3.5 millimeter connector it came with an otg connector right here and then a charging cable the monolith only came with um, the U micro USB charging cable and an amp deck. So there's two ways to connect this. Either You can either connect it right here through the USB micro USB port for USB OTG or USB on the go. Or you can connect it to your device through the headphone jack right there line out through the headphone jack where you could also connect headphones and uh, speakers to this so those are the two ways analog line out or um, USB OTG and both of them worked on um, every de every device that I connected it to whether it was my smartphone my Galaxy Note 10 Plus the uh, <clears throat> LG V35 my Pioneer high-res digital audio player. It connected through every to every device 
easily with no hiccups of any kind um, to get it to if you connect this with your laptop through USB OTG it works plug and play you don't need any kind of special software to get it running so that's good so connectivity is pretty easy and um, pretty self-explanatory just plug and play and that's how that's about it either through USB or through the headphone jack line out right there so connectivity five out of five what I forgot to mention in the hardware walkthrough is this bottom part right here you have the micro USB port for charging and then another micro USB port for USB OTG on the go. And like I said, it connected pretty easily. No um, software was needed to connect it through you via USB. And there's certainly no software necessary if you connect it through the headphone port. Now let's talk about sound. The sound that you're going to get depending on which headphones you're using comparing it with the empire amp deck right here and my and using my fostex these t20 rps planar magnetic headphones what i noticed was the empire had a warmer sound the um, monolith has a more analytic analytical and also uh, a more higher frequency sound like Whereas this one is probably more bass here, even without the bass boost. This one highlights mostly some of the trebles. So if you're if you like to listen to opera, um, if you like to listen to a lot of female vocals, if you like to listen to actually if you like to watch movies, um, I would go with this one, the the mono monolith because of number one. It seems like it has a bigger sound stage, and that's even without D-Rack, the sense around um, audio codec. It, it, ha it just has a bigger sound stage than the Empire. And then number two, that D-Rack, when you pair it with certain music, like I said, with opera or with vocals, it sounds like you're right there listening to the person singing or the performance if you're listening to them in person with that d-rack the d-rack surround sound sense around does not really sound that good though with dance and hip-hop tracks because it misses out it loses some of the bass that makes um listening to dance and hip-hop edm top 40 music so much fun to listen to it loses some of the bass and the the impact the thump when you use d-rack if you if you want to listen to like your top 40 your dance music your hip-hop music uh even rock heavy metal um i would not have d-rack sense around on but if i'm watching movies or if i'm listening to vocals or concerts like live concerts um d-rack sense around works really well and uh like like I said the this has so many EQ settings and things like that if you're a beginning audio enthusiast you're gonna have um, you're gonna get overwhelmed with all these settings on EQs like right here on EQ you see that you have like LF gain frequency HF gain frequency what does those mean I didn't know what those mean too unless I go through the uh, manual to find out what they are and even then going through the manual won't really tell you how it's going to sound you have to like play around with it yourself and see if you like that sound the good thing is if you ever like mess up on some of these uh equalizer settings you can always just um go here to settings and right here you can just reset everything to factory defaults and like i said factory default it sounds good enough already the only time you really want to um change the equalizer settings is if you want to fine tune how much treble and bass you want to try to get out of it but man that trying to explain all the different settings and um all the setting features and things like that would take take entirely too long 
and it'll it'll make this video even way longer than how long I usually make some of these videos. So if you guys want to know more about that, let me know in the comments and I'll try to go over some of the different settings with you guys. Or um, I believe Z Reviews has a very good um, video on some of the settings on this uh, mono monolith um, portable headphone amp deck. So sound, like I said, it sounds really good. It's very, it's very detailed. I will do a future comparison on both of these amp decks, um, portable amp decks that I have. And um, let's just say this one has more clarity and detail, but both of them have very little to zero, zero distortion when it comes to sound. And that's even when I paired them with my in-ears. And some people say that pairing certain in-ears on these uh on this monolith will give hissing or white noise when you're not listening to anything but like i said the most complex um in-ears i have are these uh ccac 12 and i did not hear i didn't get any hissing from these or white noise from these in-ears or any of my in-ears that i have and i didn't get any white noise or hissing period on any of my headphones earphones and also speakers that i plugged them into or i plugged this into so that's good the empire when i plug this into an older bluetooth speaker of my my nine bass it got a little bit of hissing but once the music started playing the the hissing went away or you couldn't even hear it anymore on this one you didn't get any of that period and you shouldn't at least not for three hundred dollars right so right off the bat it sounds really good but you can get the sound to how you like it the sound is very customizable it's got a more bright sound stage or sound where the highs are more the mids and the highs are more emphasized than bass and as you as i said before on this one it does not have like on the uh, empire the empire has that bass boost on and off switch and the high and low gain switch this one don't have the high and low gain or bass boost on and off switch you have to do that through those equalizer settings either through the eq like the shelf eq or your drc uh settings so it can be more time consuming and complicated that's why i said it before and i'll say it again this one is for more advanced um audio enthusiasts while this one is for more for beginners it's kind of like um the best way to explain it is this is like using a shell or command line or linux uh, command line script for telling the amp app what to do where this one it's like simple as you know plug and play or like mac os right if a lot of people say mac os is simple or windows it's pretty easy right you just click something and then there you go it start it runs a program this one you have to like use the old command line interface to, with all the settings and all the different um eqs and stuff like that but still if you're more advanced and you know how to play around with the eqs or you want to learn how to use you want to learn how to use EQ settings and get real good at it, then um, use this. I recommend this uh, amp deck. So all around, for the price, US price of $200.99 or $299.99, I think this is a very good portable amp deck. Uh, I, I forgot to mention battery life. This has about, this has a 4,000 milliamp hour battery and uh i believe it's good for 10 hours and uh, the whole time that i've been using this i've never once ran into any power issues where all of a sudden i'm running out of battery so it's got pretty good battery life too it's got a premium build quality it sounds good right off the bat if you like a bright more analytical more neutral sound signature this has it the company mono price gives you a three-year warranty for this so it's got a longer warranty than most of your amp deck so right there now 
even though it is a lot more expensive than, than say the Empire right here, you're getting a longer warranty and you're getting better aftermarket uh, service and support for this. So if I were to put money on like to say which one is going to last longer, the Empire or the Monolith, I'm going to say the Monolith is going to last me longer and I'll probably have this around a lot longer than the Empire. Just just based off of their warranties and i know that if i ever run into any issues i could just drive down to their comp their store here where i live at in southern california lucky me and have them fix the problem and if you don't live in southern california you, you're still you can still call them email them or fax them and uh get your um issues fixed right there so that is it um, for this review of the Monolith by Monoprice THX AAA Portable Amp Deck. Very feature rich, premium build quality, outstanding warranty and service and support. Very good. If you're a tinkerer, who, of someone who likes to tinker with settings, you, you will, you'll love this portable amp deck. If you're someone who has more high-end headphones and if you're someone who likes to tailor your eq to your sound preferences this is the headphone for or this is the portable amp deck for you very good so like i said if you're that type of person who likes to tinker and you know how to fix settings with equalizers and stuff like that you like to custom customize your sound this is the portable amp deck for you if you like to watch movies on the go or even at home through your headphones this is the portable amp deck for you um, probably also good for games this will probably be a, a good portable amp deck for you if you can afford it and you can stomach the price of two hundred dollars and ninety nine two hundred and ninety nine dollars and ninety nine cents again this is the headphone deck for you or portable headphone amp deck for you so that is it so if you guys are interested in in this monolith portable amp deck with thx AAA technology you can check out the links in my description through monoprice and also through target targets website if you want to pick it up but you can't pay for it all at once i'm not a, an affiliate with monoprice or target I do have an Amazon affiliate account, so if you guys use the Amazon link, it, you are helping out my channel. It doesn't make the the price of this portable amp deck more expensive, but you will be helping out my channel and also my charity, the Wounded Warrior Project for this for veterans. Anyways, guys, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at the Workout Geek for all my latest happenings and great workout tips. Till next time. Everyone take care, stay safe, stay healthy, and have a wonderful day.